Welcome to 2008's Dead Space. This is what we're rolling with for our alternate series for the next, uh, however long it takes. Sit back, because it's going to be a while before I can talk to you again. You're welcome. about everything. I wish I could just talk to someone. It's all falling apart here. I can't believe what's happening. It's strange. Such a little thing. How many times you watched that thing? Guess you really miss her. Don't worry, we're almost there. You'll be able to look her up once we're on board. Sounds like you do have a lot of catching up to do. All right, everyone, we're here. It's sinking our orbit now. All this trouble over that chunk of rock. Deep space mining is a lucrative business, Miss Daniels. Each is seven is a gold mine, according to prospectors' reports. Cobalt, silicon, osmium. Now, where is she? There she is. We have visual contact. So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG Ishimura. This is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelgan responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're gonna need to boost the signal if her power's yes, low. Yes, we know. Boost the signal. More. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd think with a thousand people on board, someone would pick up the phone. What is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. All right, you have the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tethers engaged. Automatic docking procedures a go. What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track, we're gonna hit the hole. Hit the blast shields. That guidance tethers damaged. Switch to manual, now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No, we can make it inside. Corporal! Is everyone okay? What? What the hell were you thinking? Were you trying to get us killed? I just saved our asses, Miss Daniels. If we had aborted at that speed and distance, we'd have smashed right into the side of the Ishimura. Now settle down, let's get to work. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and autopilot. It'll take some time to fix. All right, let's get some extra hands from Flight Deck to help out. Hold still, Isaac. I'm syncing up everyone's rig with the ship. Okay, we're done. Clean bill of health for everyone. All right, we've still got a job to do. We're moving out. have a moment here, but it's only going to be a moment. That's a heck of a start, right? I should tell you just very quickly before I have to stop talking again, this is technically a modded run of Dead Space because I'm using a mouse mod that uh, fixes some of the mouse issues with this game. Because when this game came out, it had massive mouse issues. Basically, you needed to play with a controller because the mouse was essentially emulating the controller, which is just awful, awful design anytime and every time. And now 
I get to shut up again. Seems like everyone was trying to pack in a hurry. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah? Well, there's not. There's nobody here. I can't pick up any broadcasts. Well, that security console's still alive. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Kendra, get that elevator back online. Power's dead. I can't. Then we root the damn power! Look, if we all cooperate, we can figure this out a lot sooner. Let's get that computer display up, Isaac. Use the locator system to find your next objective. Huh, that doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. The tram system's offline. Getting around's gonna be difficult. The air seems to be flowing again. That's a start. What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. What was that? Not sure. What the hell? I don't know. Something's in the room with us. Man, how was that for a start? <laughs> good, good times. Cut off their limbs. That seems like a subtle hint. So we finally are able to do something more than just walk around, which means we can swing the gun and we can stomp on things. Both of which will probably turn out to be fairly useful if I had to guess. And I kind of want to test a theory here. Aha! If I smash these, there might be things in them. How helpful. Allow us to continue on with drama. I guess that qualifies as cutting off its limbs. Excellent. Let's reload and keep going. Hm. 
By the way, I probably should have warned you, this is a scary game. So if you don't like scary games, you're probably not going to like this. broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find Nicole. And there you go. That is pretty much your story right there. Isaac is trying to get to Nicole. And they have all been called here because something has gone wrong. That's, um, it's a pretty compelling start, I think. I mean, is it, in some respects, pretty basic and expected? Yeah. Is it effective? Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I will tell you, I have played a little of this game because I had to, well, mod it to figure out if I could even play it, for one. But I haven't played a lot of it, so I've played a little further than where we currently are. And I'm going to do my best not to spoil anything as we go. And then, it's all going to be brand new to me. And I don't even honestly remember which way to go for some of this stuff, so... Isaac, be careful. Shooting them in the body didn't seem to work. Go for the limbs. Dismember them. That should do the job. <laughs> So apparently it's going to be just fine that I don't remember much because it's going to make it that much more interesting, probably. I suspect this game is not really meant to be one where you just, you know, run and gun and all that sort of thing. It's it's It really is more of a horror game, which I've only ever heard good things about this. And if you're not aware, there has been a fairly recent development that... Electronic Arts is remaking the game. They're doing a ground-up remake, which is pretty awesome. I mean, I guess it is if if you like this game. I looks like that door is malfunctioning, Isaac. I've never Try played it, so you, just up. you know, I'm on board for trying it though. I mean, that's why we're here. Not because they're doing the remake, but because uh, it's supposed to be a good game. And more clearly, because this is what you voted for, so. On the Discord, which uh, if you are not a member of the Discord, you can get on the Discord very easily by signing up at patreon.com slash KICgaming. That'll get you access to the Discord. You can do that and uh, get on the Discord, and that's where I primarily asked. And y'all said you wanted something... Oh, uh, that's my game that I, I saved over, or I'm going to save over, so we'll just save over that. I asked what you wanted me to play, and you overwhelmingly said, I want you to play something old and something new. To which I answered, I have no idea what that's supposed to be, so here we are playing Dead Space. <laughs> it's old, and yet there's going to be a new version of it, so as far as I'm concerned, it meets the qualifications. It's kind of a different game from the stuff I usually play. Not necessarily a... Stasis module should be able to help you with that arm mechanism. 
not necessarily a huge fan of third person games, but I've been playing a few of those lately, so here we are. Claw engaged. Engage the claw. Oh, hi. How you doing? Can I blow off your legs? Does that work? Oh, wow. You still walk around. That's unacceptable. I don't think I'm a fan of that. I gotta say, for this gun being kind of weak, it sounds really awesome. I mean, it's just boom, boom. It, it sounds like it wants to just, yeah, boom, destroy the crap out of everything. Which is cool. I have no idea what you use money for in this game either, other than at some point, I assume that will be more evident. This is going to be a real struggle for me, because... The car rate is trashed. We managed to get it back to the repair depot, but now the autoloader is fried. I need a stasis module brought down here now. If we don't get this piece of shit off the tracks, it's going to jam up the whole system. Because mouse control is a little wonky in this game, and you need to be uh, pretty good about it. Because, you know... You gotta be able to shoot limbs, you're not going for body shots. But hey, whatever. It'll be what it'll be. We're just gonna chug along and we will enjoy, because genuinely, I have already enjoyed what I've played. Isaac, you did it. The tram is blocking the whole system. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram from the control room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. Got a new tram, so it's gonna go or a repaired tram, whatever. Go send that out there so everyone can... Oh, hi, how you doing? Can get around. This game really does suspense and terror well, based on what little I've played. That should definitely be seen as kudos to uh, the development team here. Like, there is so much ambiance and mood. It is ridiculous. Power node. Okay. I don't know what the power node does. That's... That's potentially interesting. I see you clambering around up there. How you doing? That's what I got for you, buddy. Cannot go this way yet, it looks like. That is still locked. And then I think we need to go back that way, but let's just hit the bathrooms first. Oh, that's not at all nerve-wracking at all. It's not at all nerve-wracking at all, he says. Redundantly. Okay. So far, so good. Oh, what does this say back here? Dear God, keep us safe from monsters. Oh, that's not at all disturbing. I mean, that did kind of look like it could be a child's writing. Hope it wasn't. There shouldn't be children on a, a space breaker, a space, whatever these things were called, a planet, planet breaker? I don't know. Just go ahead and do that. I don't know if we need to reload that guy yet. Uh, actually, we are looking pretty low. I think that's the red light on the back, so we'll do a stasis recharge. And then the thing I'm kind of curious about is... Does that mean that this stasis recharge system is unusable for a while? Or at all? I haven't quite figured that out yet. If you only get one recharge out of them or if you can get multiples. Hi, how you doing? So that'll be kind of something to play with as we move along. Just want to make sure there's no one... Oh, hi. I remember you from the hallway. You were not very friendly looking and you still aren't. Okay. One of the things I kind of like about this game too is that you don't move very quickly, which is going to drive me nuts. So that's going to be fun to deal with. It really... Like, sprinting compared to walking... Isaac, I've patched into the deck security system. It took some work, but I've got the door to the maintenance bay unlocked. The data board should be somewhere inside. 
just isn't that much faster. I just, I find that very interesting is all. Lots of plasma energy. Oh yeah, we're, we're doing just fine on ammunition. I don't like you, so I'm just going to keep shooting you until you stop. It's a save station right there. Not going to worry about that at the moment. This is Benson, Tram Engineering. Isaac, you still need to find the data board to the Tram computer. It's in the maintenance bay. Well, um, I kind of wanted to hear the playback of that. Can I... Can I, um... Can I, can I do that? How do I... Oh, crap. I just realized I don't know how to change the things up top. I know I don't want to do that. Like, there are the categories up top. I have no idea how to switch between them with the keyboard and mouse. Because I, I literally don't have mouse thingy. And I, I'm pretty sure I see arrows to scroll between. Well, I'll figure that one out on my own. Or if you know, leave me a comment in the question in the comment in the questions. A comment it tells me how to use the menu because I just realized. Isaac, it's Kendra. It looks like the door to the storage room is locked. There should be a key somewhere in the maintenance bay. Okay, we have a new objective. Oh hi, how you doing? You look very friendly. So does your friend over here. Oh, that didn't that didn't do any good. Um reload. It's okay. It's okay to reload. That guy seemed a little bigger maybe than some of the other ones. Maybe he's like a heavy hitter, but he's slower. That's how that works. Is there anyone else coming? Because, holy crap, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and open this box right quick. I haven't really tried playing too much with melee in this game. When I have, it's really been more of out of desperation. So, trying to stick with shooting, uh, I'd say people, but I don't know if these are people. They may have been at one point. Not quite sure how that works. I bet it's probably easier to shoot their arms off and stomp them than their legs. Their legs look pretty thick. They look like they can take a shot or two. A lot of reloading in this game for me. Because, uh... Yeah. I have to need more than two shots to take down one of these guys. Oh no! I wanted to shoot that! I mean, assuming I needed it, I don't know that I do. But assuming I needed it, I wanted to shoot that. That's... No! Come back, explosive thingy! Okay, I'm just kind of making sure we're not missing anyone else here, so let's go take care of what we're supposed to take care of. Now, I guess that was plasma energy or money. I didn't see which it was. Either way, I'll take it. Okay, we still have one barrel lying around. Music is still very tense. Not sure what I'm supposed to make of that, but um, here we go. I think at this point we are officially transitioning into a portion of the game that I have not yet played. So I was technically aware of what was going on with that last go around, but I think at this point I don't know and it's all new to me, which is exciting because now I might get a jump scare. Okay. That was completely unnecessary. Okay. Wow, I have too much plasma energy.
So what do we have here? USG Ishimura Aerospace Engineering Department. Shuttle repairs. Invoice mission day two. Alti 4 Gyro Vessel USG ISH SO3 replaced and now functional. Mission Day 3, Faulty 4D Scope. Still in repair. Mission Day 4, Damaged Landing Repulsors. Complete replacement, now functional, damaged 4 and left 4 viewports. Replaced, now functional, Day 5. Um, can we scroll Day 5? Damaged Booster Collar. Repaired, now functional. Note, right, JF, 2nd Engineer, man Maintenance Bay. So... The thing that's still damaged, then, is the 4D scope. Everything else looks like it's now functional. So the 4D scope, I believe, is still going to be something that we'll have to repair. That's kind of my my interpretation of all of this. Maintenance bay key. Yes, please pick that up, since I think that's literally the whole reason we're here. If I hit the B button, it'll tell us where we need to go. And I already lost it. I think it's going to be back downstairs, but... We have friends, so we will greet our friends. Thanks. Oh, really? Still full? Okay. 50 ammos we have. Excellent. Let's see what we got over here. Plasma energy. We're full on that. This thing bouncing around. I keep hearing it every once in a while and I'm like, okay, you're driving me a little nuts because that, I don't know what this sound is and and it, it um, it's not very good. This game might end up being a struggle for me to get through. I don't normally play horror games, but I guess in a way you could say Bioshock is a bit of a horror game. And I love the crap out of Bioshock. This is, actually, this really feels a lot like Bioshock to me now that I say that. Aside from the third person, I would say it, it does have very much of a Bioshock feel. That's very interesting. I had not landed on that realization. Okay, there are some supplies over here. We'll check these out. Oh, wow, we have full med packs, too. Holy cow, dude. I'm not even good at the game or anything. This is just dumb luck. I mean, granted, it's the very beginning of the game, so you probably haven't gone through everything just yet. But still, I wasn't expecting that to be the case. We have technically lost a small amount of health, I think, early on. That looks like that might be the data board. So let's go in here, since the storage key clearly opens it. Wow, we cannot take any more medium ones either. Let's take that power node. Whatever that is. Oh! Okay, well this says bench. Upgrade equipment. Don't mind if I do. So what can we upgrade here? Looks like we can upgrade all three things. The plasma cutter, the rig, which would be kind of our uh, armor, I guess. As well as the stasis module. That's interesting. I don't know what we should do. I have no clue. I'm kind of inclined to not do anything just because I don't want to waste them and I don't know how many we get of these. I mean, I guess maybe the plasma cutter would be good to do stuff, but are we going to get better weapons throughout the game? This one seems reasonably effective, but... If we end up getting a rifle or something, then I don't know. I'm just going to pass for right now. I don't know. What would you upgrade? You tell me what you would upgrade. You don't have to do it in a spoilery way. Just, you know, I would upgrade XYZ. I would prefer no spoilers, technically. So, don't spoil it for me. I'm okay with waiting a little while, because I know how to get back here. Take the board back to command control and slot it into the computer array. That should get the transfer back on the line. Okay. Nice to see you guys, too. Do you have any energy for me? Because now I suddenly don't have energy. I'm almost out of energy. 
I need more plasma energy. I'm almost out. We're going to run out. Probably should go fill up, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Nerves of Steel. Did that one scare you? Let me know. Did not scare me. Probably should have, but it didn't. I was in the middle of talking, I think, so I was just focused. I was in the zone. I was like, I got stuff going on. I'm in the zone. Good. And it worked out okay. All right, let's take the lift back up to the tram thingy, majigger type place, and see what happens. It's probably a good idea not to be standing right in front of the door when it opens. It's just my guess. These guys remind me of the Splicers a lot in Bioshock. I'm pretty sure this one came out before Bioshock, so don't get me wrong. Well, maybe it didn't. I don't know. I don't honestly remember what came first, Bioshock or Dead Space. It's not meant to be... There's no a, a criticism or anything going on. It's just... I'm just saying it reminds me of that is all. I'm not saying anyone stole from anyone else or any of that jazz. Please don't misunderstand me on that front. Looks like they're still in the room over there, so let's go ahead and pop this board in. Quarantine just lifted. Whatever was in the flight lounge must have left. That's lucky for us. Isaac, get back to the Kellyon and prep it for launch. We'll find out what we can from the bridge and meet you there. If we live that long, you're out of your league, Hammond. This is suicide. We're going the to die out here. The confidence in me is to be noted, Miss Daniels. But I have a mission to complete, and that's exactly what I am going to do, with or without you. Do we understand each other? Just get us out of here alive. Trouble in paradise, it would seem. And on that note, I think we're supposed to go that direction, back to the ship we flew in on. But we're going to end things here for today. So come back for another one as we continue our run through the Ishimura in Dead Space. Catch you on that one. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.